Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are finally moved in. Our stuff doesn't come for a few days, which is why I'm in the bathroom because this is the only seat we have. We do have like a blow up couch, some blow up mattresses, but that's about it. Um, we've done this many times before where we had to like wait for our stuff to be moved and it is not any easier, not any more pre pleasurable or anything like that. We're only here for a year. I feel like when I came here, I like can't settle in. Like I feel like this is just not my place. I feel like this is another hotel. Like, you know, I just can't settle myself in here for some reason. I saw my life weigh in. Now, honestly, I really don't care what the scale says anymore. Um, I'll tell you guys a few reasons why. But number one, this scale is like healthometer. Don't get that scale. This scale doesn't work. I only weigh myself on one tile, so it's like the same um, every time I weigh in. But this one, it's like has a mind of its own. Just is really, I feel like it's really inaccurate, but it's not a big deal because the scale really doesn't define my weight loss or how I'm doing or anything like that. So I really don't care what the scale says, honestly. Um, because I'll tell you why my clothes fit so much better. My bra is not as tight I've been doing really good on my eating. I've been doing actually fantastic um, Staying on my vegan diet and also not just my vegan diet. I'm literally eating like Fruits vegetables like that's it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, re I'm doing really good you guys um, on top of that I'm I, I do have a little help um, I'm only doing it for a month just to kind of quick start things and I'm sorry about the mic situation. I can't find my mic. I know I have it somewhere but I just, ugh, I don't even want to think about the stuff we have to move for the movers to come here because we just have like basically stuff all over the floor. Like if you came to my house it'd be just like boxes, the, anything that we could fit in our cars which we packed our cars full. We asked someone like is it always this humid like every single day and they're like yeah. I'm like oh cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how am I going to survive? Like, Arizona is a dry heat. Like, that's so different, you know? Um, yeah, it's really, really, really muggy. And it's just like, ugh. you will never have nice hair here. And you will never, like, just bring deodorant in your car and, like, spray yourself all the time. Because I don't care how skinny you are or anything. It doesn't matter. Humidity is, uh, uh, you know, not biased towards anything it'll get you it doesn't matter so I like keep doing it in my car sprays lotions that being said I wanted you guys to know I'm doing super super good on my diet um, I feel like I wanted to film so much more when I get it I did buy some like like one pot well, one really good pot by the way it's like a good like pan um, but when I get my stuff in a few days I'm gonna film so much more I'm gonna be doing eating shows again like vegan not gorging myself not getting like all this vegan junk food no because I am very aware that you can still be obese and vegan um, again I'm just doing the vegan style because um, I feel like my stomach is just so messed up right now um, a really nice I don't know if you're a subscriber but a really nice girl I believe she was a girl um, gave me like a tip and I'm gonna be doing that to help me with my stomach and seeing what's kind of going on so Thank you to who uh, recommended that. That was really sweet of you. And just like anyone that recommends me like advice or tips or tricks, like I really appreciate it um, more than you ever know. Like I feel like I'm spoiled with that. Like I have so many people helping me and it just means a lot to me. I highly encourage anyone that wants to start a weight loss channel, please make a YouTube channel. You will get so much support, so much advice, so much ideas and, and different just a different viewpoints on things and I highly encourage you guys to uh, get a YouTube channel like honestly especially for weight loss like reasons or related or whatever um, okay so okay back to my weight the reason why like I don't care about the scale and I think I touched base on this I don't know I've been rambling I'm gonna cut it out is because I know I'm doing good so I don't care what the scale says and my clothes are fitting better. This scale though, 100% you guys, is a piece of crap. This is a piece of junk. Um, I would never buy this one, but I do have one coming. It's my last one, so um, I'll just be using that. But this one's a piece of junk. 
I do like how it's small and like lightweight, but it's very inaccurate. Like it, you really have to like stand very, very, very still. And even when you do that, I go back on it and it's not the same number. So it actually told me I was two pounds less than what I weighed in, which I would honestly believe because I've been doing so good. So one huge thing that I did, which is so controversial, I understand, I completely get it. I've already read the warnings and everything, um, but I am doing only one month of fentramine, just a month. I'm not do, I'm not gonna renew it only because it's really expensive. So I'm really only doing a month, you guys. Um, it's just these pills, they're appetite suppressants, and they're in 37.5 milligrams. That's like the highest dose. I was like, I need the highest dose. Like you can't give me like something like half or whatever. But even without fentramine, I feel like I really don't need to take it because I find myself like not even caring about food. It's so weird. Like I feel like because I was in Arizona and I was literally like not around anyone, um, I feel like I was just kind of, food was always super available to me. Um, I just really, I really want this, you guys. I really want to be healthy in shape. I'm going to start working out tonight. Um, tonight's going to be my first night. Um, I'm venturing me like you're not hungry. You have to like make yourself eat. Um, yeah. So like last night for dinner, I had an apple. <laughs> like... But I'm really obese, so I really do need this pill. Since I'm so close to 300 pounds, it's like really, really freaking scary that I feel like I just need this just good push to get out of this huge, like the 280s. And I'm trying not to eat as many carbs. I do have apple, like, but I don't like sit there and just like eat a ton of fruit or anything. I just had one apple and I'm not eating bread. I'm doing the low carb vegan um thing so a lot of you guys mentioned that to me like you should do low carb and i said okay i'll do low carb low carb high protein oh my god i'm so hot it is so hot um okay so i'm kind of hunched over too so if i was sitting up i would look like that but i'm hunched over uh what else do i want to say it's so hot oh my gosh you guys <laughs> if you're in florida like freaking mad props to you because this is crazy uh, we don't have any intention. We are going to like move from this city. We're only here for the school year. And then we're going to be buying a house. I hope, I hope. Um, it just sucks with, we kind of have to stay here for two years, sort of, uh, kind of without being so personal. Um, so I don't want my husband to have to drive like 10 hours to work. Like that, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know, whatever. So, all right. So I hope you guys enjoyed and um, I feel like I want to talk more. I feel like I need to tell you guys so many things, but I'm not sharing much with you. Uh, I just want you guys to know I'm going to try and film like, if not every day, every other day, but I, I want to wait till I get my, my stuff should come. They said it was going to come tomorrow, but I, I, I really don't know. And I feel like we don't have anything in this house Wait, that I don't really care about. My bras fit better, my pants fit better. I feel like I actually can see a difference. Um, with Benjamin, you have to drink a ton of water, you get dry mouth. Um, I don't care. It's so worth it, you know? Drinking water isn't an issue for me. You have to drink a lot of water here. Honestly, you'll lose weight anyway. If you live in Florida, you'll lose weight, like just by sweating outside. I have never, like, I was, I've been working out just by, like, going in and out, in and out, up and down, up and down, like, all around, you know what I mean? Um, just by taking care of my kids, cleaning this house, just trying to get everything nice for the movers to not have anything in their way, you know, because we have, like, stuff. And just going to the store in this heat, walking around, just like being really active. I feel like I literally lost five pounds of fat. I'm not even kidding you. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. <sighs> so uh, we only run our AC if it's like super hot because AC is like really expensive. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'm going to update you tomorrow. Well, I don't know. Do you, I mean, honestly, I don't mind daily weighing in. If you guys want daily weigh-ins, I will absolutely do that. Or if you want, like, 
well, I don't want to say daily vlogs yet because there's, you know, like stuff isn't set and we're kind of chaotic right now with our house. So, um, I'll find a routine, of course. This is just for now. I'll find a routine and yeah. Okay, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Oh, don't mind that mess. Like, I haven't even made this bathroom nice or anything. I just put all my junk. Oh, my hair. I try to make my hair like straight for you guys, but honestly, I'm gonna put it up in a ponytail because there is no way. Like, could you imagine if I had my long hair? I would be literally dying. Um, <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing great on your weight loss journey. I would love for you to check in with me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys very, very soon.